This is Make No Little Plans with Yvonne, and today my guest is... Diego Salcedo. Diego, thanks so much uh, for joining me. I really appreciate uh, it. Uh, Diego sure. is a Latin electronic and acoustic guitarist and a community guitar instructor. We actually met, I met this self-taught musician uh, when I was at this uh, Mexico Emprende Expo in 2012. I didn't know, I didn't officially meet you, but I actually, that's the first time I saw you guys perform with his group, uh, the his siblings, uh, the Hermano Salcedo group. And I actually heard him perform at um, Another Word for Beauty mm -hmm. at the Goodman Theater. So anyway, that's our connection. We'll talk about his start in music, his uh, great career experiences, and take note if you're just starting out. So Diego, can you um, share with the audience where we are today and why it's significant in your career journey, in your music journey? Sure. Uh, we're here at uh, Casa Michoacan in Chicago, in the Pilsen uh, neighborhood. It's a community organization, and uh, I have I'm 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 running a uh, community guitar program here every every Saturday, and uh, which is one of the of the my main projects because I, I really want uh, uh, community to have access to to music uh, education. And uh, they've been they've been very uh, helpful. They've been very uh, supportive, for which uh, I'm 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 really thankful. And I will uh, I take this time also to to thank everybody in, in, in Casa Michoacan for letting me having this uh, my program here. All right, so uh, let's start at the beginning. So, how did you get involved in music? Did you always like it? Where did that interest start? Uh. I would say um, my brother, my oldest brother, he's a really he's the one that really brought the uh, music into the What's his into name? The, uh, our family. His name is is Hugo. Before that, I would say um, I was not not very interested in music. Uh, I was more like a sports uh, kid, playing soccer as any regular Mexican football. <laughs> yeah. football, what uh, everybody does. And uh, eventually, I started listening to more music with my with my friends, and, and uh, as I grew up, and then uh, my brother started uh, playing guitar, so I started uh, having guitars in my in my house, and then uh, he would. He wanted to play. He plays uh, flamenco. That that was his interest. His interest. Uh, somehow he just found uh, flamenco in the little town in, in Jalisco, uh, Ciudad Guzman, which is uh, where uh, we are from. In Mexico. But yeah, I started uh, playing electric guitar, which is he plays uh, uh, flamenco, which is Spanish guitar, acoustic guitar. So I, I started uh, playing electric. At that point, I was very interested in, in rock, and then also he was very influential in, in showing me another genre of, of music too. What age again? I was uh, 13. So if you can say your sibling's name mm -hmm. and describe them like in a word or in a short phrase in terms of what they bring to the group Okay. performance. Uh, performance, I would say uh, Hugo, which is the oldest. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, music direction, uh, like uh, music uh, leadership, you can say it that way, like you know everything is going well because he's there. <laughs> uh, Andrea Salcido, uh, my sister, my sister I, I, I would say that she's, she's like, the, I mean, she's the, the only woman, so you know, she's, she stands out, she, she knows uh, very well her stuff so, so you can trust that that, that she'll do everything mm -hmm. fine so yeah so yeah but, but yeah that, that uh, her style is kind of similar to to uh, oh, yeah okay. so like, she, she likes to direct you <laughs> yeah so second in command what about third uh Braulio uh Salcido who plays uh percussions and 
I mean, she, he, he brings, uh, of course, uh, rhythm, but he also brings some kind of uh, craziness too. Well, I play uh, different stuff, so I would say for uh, versatility. Electric guitar will be my main instrument. I play also acoustic, bass guitar too. Mm -hmm. Percussions, the uh, cajon, bongos, and uh, some you know, hand uh, percussions too. And then, the, and also flute, which is that, that was a, I mean, my biggest uh, adventure outside a uh, guitar. <laughs> I'm the one volunteering to learn. Volunteered something. or bullied? <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, let's say it's uh, imposed uh, volunteering. <laughs> when you go and you perform flamenco for a, maybe an audience that's not Latino, so what, what type of response do you get? They they really like the the, the you know the different type of, of culture and the different type of of, uh, of uh, sounds that you are you're bringing, and, and then they are not uh, used to. Other thing that has helped is that uh, well sometimes when we have a dancer, you know, we always everybody oh, goes crazy with uh -huh. the with the dancers. So that that also helps them uh, like to bring them closer to to the to the music, and then the, and then also it, it helps that uh, we we like to put the, or to play uh, songs that like, that they recognize uh, that, that like you know some. Throw like uh, Beatles tunes, Beatles tunes here, here and there, mm -hmm. or South California or Santana, which everybody likes. There was a speaker I saw, Martin Atkins. He's an entrepreneur, musician, etc. Does everything. He said that the moments where he has the most feeling periods of growth were when he didn't give a fudge. Um, mm -hmm. Many of us sometimes get stage fright. Mm -hmm. So, do you still get nervous on stage? Usually it's it's uh, it ends after the, the first song or the mm -hmm. first couple of songs like you get in, in the, in the groove. and and then you get in the groove and, and you get you get more uh, used to to the, to the stage and, and you get more comfortable as as the performance uh, starts. So you're comfortable now. At this, yeah, I say this stage. Uh, yeah. At this stage, I'm I'm mostly comfortable, but I do. Get that uh, that feeling when I'm gonna do something new. Like when I was playing at the at, at the Van Halen tribute, which was a different different uh, setting, the uh, new setting for me. So when I was about to start, I was kind of <laughs> here. Everybody was just doing like a rock concert, just going crazy. Yeah, mosh pit. <laughs> no. Mosh pit. Well, well, they didn't do uh, mosh pit in in in, uh, in our in our show, but yeah, later on they were, uh -huh. they, they were going crazy. Yeah. I like to say that, and I like to say to my students too that that that, uh, that when they when they perform or when they, when they're going to perform, that you, you should be over a hundred percent ready when you are uh, going mm -hmm. to perform, because usually if you are that your ability decreases when you decreases when you are uh, on the stage yeah. because of your nervous because it's, it's never the same to be in your room. Uh, practicing or, and then go to the stage and, and, and perform it's always different. Another thing is just uh, just go there and, and, and enjoy very much you know I mean you're doing what you what you like. That's something that I, that I apply in, in math you know that uh, uh, even if I know something then you gotta I gotta do some problems I gotta do some some exercises and so in order to be comfortable and then be ready for the for the exam. Uh, I'm currently uh, attending uh, Northeastern University. I almost done, right? Almost done. Should be done uh, if everything goes goes right. That should the uh, next fall semester should be my my last semester. All right. For this next section, I'm just going to ask you to give me short answers mm -hmm. for a couple questions. You ready? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have a secret talent? Secret talent. Yes. But if I tell them, it wouldn't be secret anymore. <laughs> let, let, let's pretend only a few hundred people. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would say kind of acting, probably. Mm. <laughs> so Leo has agreed to play a game called Director. He will be playing one song 
over and over, and I will keep interrupting, yelling cut, and asking him to play it in a different style. So I'm going to be playing one of the first tunes that I uh, teach my students, which is the famous and beautiful uh, Ode to Joy. And uh, well, in the style of Pat, Pat Metin, you know, I have to say he's great, like I'm nowhere near what, what, what he does, but uh, when, uh, when he plays this, this guy is like in music, into just like just into music. You see uh, one of his performances in 1982, and he has like a, a t-shirt with stripes, usually like black stripes, and you see a, a picture from like 1985, and he has the same t-shirt with stripes. And then from 1988, again, same t-shirt. <laughs> so he probably has a lot of those t-shirts. He does something like... Now yeah. you have to perform in the style of Carlos Santana. Yeah, Santana has a lot of, of feeling in his in his playing, and of course he has also some uh, like uh, oh yeah, he wears a hat too. <laughs> Usually you see Santana doing this a lot. Those my guitar. So he he has always big audiences so then he gets in the audience and goes like so like that and of course everybody gets crazy and then he would do something like uh, but now for this next take we need you to try willie nelson have props if you're interested. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so now uh, Yvonne turned me into Willie Nelson, <laughs> which I'm got to apologize to those uh, Willie Nelson fans. I didn't know who he was. I'm sorry. <laughs> Folk country. <laughs> Folk country. country. So I have never seen him play. <laughs> so I just try to play some. Uh, country like which will be I guess something like cut cut <laughs> now please play in the style of Eddie Van Halen Eddie Van Halen again <laughs> again uh, another great uh, guitarist so I'll try to do something. I don't have the the jumpsuit, but <laughs> all right. Who's the most famous person you've ever met up close? Uh, Hector Huitrago. And that uh, was from yeah, he's uh, he's a bass player from uh, and, and mostly the uh, composer for uh, Tercio Pelados, this uh, Colombian uh, rock band. And mm -hmm. I had a chance to not just be close with him. I mean, I guess yeah, really be be really close with him at the, when I was uh, performing uh, when I was working at the Goodman Theater, and he he composed the music for Another War mm -hmm. uh, for Beauty. So yeah, and I can say that uh, he's a great guy. Every time he comes, he, he, we get together. Who would you trade places for a day and why? Anybody dead or alive? Who would you oh, trade places? They're, they're alive. Ooh, that's a, <laughs> that's a, a good question. I would say I would trade uh, Places with with uh, some musician that it's uh, like all over. I would try places with uh, like a jazz musician who is uh, who is all over the, the world performing. Uh, mostly because I, I I love jazz. I I don't play jazz. I wish I could play jazz. You did so, a a program like a. I don't know what to call it, a series, uh, Jazz a la Mexicana, which yeah. means uh -huh. a la 
Mexican, uh, Mexican style. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about about that? Yeah, sure. It was a it it, it was a project that uh, in the in the family because uh, we we also have uh, some uh, activism going on, like trying to uh, promote uh, uh, music, Mexican music, and then Mexican uh, musicians, culture. Mexican culture. And then we noticed that there were very few, uh, that like there were very few jazz musicians, but uh, here in Chicago, but they like some of them like were very good, <laughs> like yeah, the, like uh, especially this this one, uh, who I say hi, uh, Victor Garcia, who is uh, shout uh, out, yeah. yeah. I, I said that day that uh, he's like for or Lionel Messi, you know, here in the, <laughs> for the Mexican uh, community here in, in jazz, and. Uh, so it was an idea to bring it together, but also bring uh, people from Mexico, mm. jazz musicians from, from Mexico. We had three performances, what, uh, one uh, Cervantes, and, and, and this was... Uh, the Spanish Institute. Yeah, Spanish Institute, and, and, and they were, this was organized uh, along with the Mexican uh, consulate, who mm. provided the, the support to. One uh, was uh, Dominican University, first those two, and then about uh, six months later, we had a chance to, to perform at the uh, Jazz Showcase here in Chicago, which is like one of the, mo the most emblematic uh, places for uh, of jazz venues here in Chicago. And, and uh, the cool thing is that uh, we were doing uh, cha um, jazz arrangements of Mexican music, which mm -hmm. were, done, were done by the, this amazing uh, a jazz uh, pianist from from Mexico, from Guadalajara, Arturo Palafox. So and it was great because uh, the the jazz showcase was like, full. Not Mexico. many Hispanics. Go yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And, and that day, like, uh, I mean, the whole uh, jazz showcase was just full with with Mexicans, uh -huh. which <laughs> which uh, was really really. Cool. Well, we're getting to the portion where I'm going to turn it over to you. If you mm -hmm. could share something with our audience, uh, something that's coming up. Ah, sure. So, yeah, so I, again, uh, I would like to invite uh, everybody first to learn uh, some instrument, some pick up an instrument, and then if you want to learn guitar, then uh, I, I'll, uh, <laughs> I have to. Uh, programs running and uh, once again here in, in Casa Michoacan on Saturdays uh, morning different uh, hour well three different classes from 9.15 to 12 and then uh, also in Marrows Park at the Mount uh, Carmel uh, Church and that's on Mondays from 5.30 to 7 again two divided into two classes so we just started. I mean, we start here in, in, in February. So if you wanna, if you wanna learn, even if you just wanna play a little bit, if you wanna play a lot, I uh, get all uh, students from all different backgrounds, all different ages. Some, some of them like, I just, if they just wanna play something like uh, sing or, or anything, I, I, I adjust to any uh, level. To, to any to any level or, or to any specific goals that uh, that the student. Has. So the important thing for me is like if you have a guitar in your hand and you're having fun with it. If you want to hear our, our music, you can, you can go to Salcedo Flamenco Guitar .com. and then our YouTube channel. Would you complete this sentence, please? The sentence. purpose of music in this world is. Well, uh. Uh, I'm trying to find the, the, the word. I would say uh, community, like convivencia. Like, to con uh, well, to convene, to, to to gather. To gather. To gather. I would say that's the purpose of music. Yeah. To gather. All right. Well, Diego, thanks okay. so much for sharing your story <laughs> with us. I really appreciate it. All right. Viewers, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you'd like to ask something specific, let me know, send it over to me if you have any suggestions. Um, please subscribe and share this video, I'd really appreciate it. This was Making the Little Plans with Yvonne. Uh, till the next episode, thank you so much. Thank you.